Kay was still in bed when I got there today. So I drug out the folding chair and set it up beside the bed. And she was in bed all the time I was there. She had gotten dressed. They got her dressed during the night. And uh, I'd forgotten till shortly before I left that, well, I'd ask Hannah shortly before if she'd eaten anything and she said no. So I real quickly got a couple of truffles. I gave her three truffles. No, no, not truffles, uh, frango mints. So uh, she had a little something in her stomach. The lady had uh, left the room and uh, with the TV on, so Kay was uh, being subjected to that racket. It wasn't loud, but it, though they were listening to it. She came in shortly before I left, maybe 20 minutes. All she does is sit there looking out the window she will watch it. I don't know if she cares what she's watching, but I don't know. I'm going to check my email right now and find out if I've got an answer to my suggestion that they require headphones if you're going to watch TV with other people in the room. I was just checking uh, house prices and uh, I paid, when we moved in Lake Forest Park in 50, early 53, January, I'd paid 15000 for that house and I asked the lady next door, who knew quite well, what she think it would be selling for now? She says, oh, the way it is, well, fixed up. Decent lawn mode, and you know, decent, about six to eight hundred thousand. How many percent is that now? It's too too big for my mind to grasp. <laughs> yeah. But my friend at the table here, he sold his down here in Tacoma for a hundred and fifty thousand. I think he. He has hinted about financial problems or something problems, so uh, something went wrong. I, I, you'd think that real estate is, maybe wouldn't be as like it was in Lake Forest Park. It certainly wouldn't be that bad. But it was a 1908 house. But still, it's real estate. Everything's gone up. That's it, boy. Howdy.